Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I got a good review for an update. Uh, as you guys know, uh, with the uh, Mavic Mini Pro, uh, definitely check in the end of the video. I have an entire playlist for y'all of all the things that I recommend that you guys get. Now, as you know, I had this right here, and one of them had to come off. And I'll explain to you why. If you guys remember uh, when I spoke about this, uh, these only allow these kind of propellers on. So not carbon fiber ones. Now, it's funny. I actually found the same versions that are carbon fiber. So that's something I'm going to be doing a review later on when it's a little bit, you know, without wind uh, and all that stuff. But this thing operated really nice as long as you use your regular propellers. But anything else, it will not fit on. Uh, and also it has two, because it has two holes to go in, so if those things are too thick, it will not go into the hole and therefore won't spin uh, correctly. So anyways, let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay, guys, and I want to make sure that uh, people truly understand what this is, the covers are. Yes, it's designed to keep debris out of here. And I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys, sorry, wrote and said, ha, what is this guy talking about? These things, uh, you know, these uh, motors are going to overheat and whatever. You know, when a person talks like that, it just tells me, you know, if you asked a simple question, that would have been fine. But the way they asked it was almost like they were trying to mock me. Uh, but I'm going to just say this. It, it truly shows their ignorance because this thing right here is aluminum. Now, if you guys know what aluminum alloy, uh, you know, what aluminum is in general, it's a heat conductor. The only thing that's better than it is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Copper. Uh, computers, the cases, I, I built computers all the time. The chassis, are, you know, that, are, that were meant to keep the computer in the inside of the computer pretty cool. Uh, of course, with fans and everything like that. But, you know, to keep it cool was aluminum. And uh, that's, you know, that's it. So this is a heat conductor. It's not going to overheat your motors in any way. This is 100% safe. And in fact, I highly recommend it, especially if you have heated things. In fact, this right here is made out of aluminum. So the thing that even comes with it is aluminum. So uh, it just lets you know that. And that's copper coils right here because that's a good heat conductor, okay? So you guys got nothing to worry about overheating. Those of you guys that were trying to mock me, uh, I take that as in jest, and I'm not going to say much about that. But anyways, let's do the unboxing, and I'm going to show you guys how I put this baby on. And now I'm going to show you why this model is better than the one that I reviewed before. Now, I am going to say this. If you already bought the other model and you plan to use just regular propellers, you don't need to buy this unless you didn't buy it yet. I recommend getting this upgrade. That's why immediately when I did that video, I said, guys, I'm going to be testing it out. I'm going to be doing uh, through, you know, uh, testing this out and all kinds of stuff on my test drone. And I got to tell you, this thing really operates amazing. It really operates well. Same like that one. Except this is a permanent solution. I'm going to show you why it's permanent in a second. So we're going to take this out. So this is what it comes with. It comes with uh, screws and four of these babies. And we're going to be putting them all together. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is kind of hard for me to do over the camera. Uh, but uh, you basically align these with where you were going to put your propellers on. Okay, I kid you not. I know this seems a little weird, and uh, you know I don't blame you if you guys are like, wait, this is crazy, this is whatever. Trust me, this is how you do it. So let me just uh, get these out of here. Comes with a lot of screws here. So we're gonna uh, chuck that in. I hope that didn't spin it. So we're gonna just put that in. And this is why they're permanent, guys. How cool is that? And it's absolute coverage, as you can see. Remember before, the old one had uh, some leaks, so it wasn't covered 100%. But the propellers, when they go in the hole, they pretty much cover it. So that's cool. Now remember, again, you don't want to 
over tighten, you want to just make it snug. And now, every time you take out the propellers, you don't need to remove this anymore. This is a permanent resident of this motor, okay? So now we're going to go into the uh, uh, regular one here. So now I want to show you guys something now. So you see, this one permits even the thick propeller of carbon fiber to go through. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Because now you can fit it in with no issue. So you could have your powerful blades on. Now this, I haven't tested this blade yet. So I'm not going to put it on right away. I'm going to test it for y'all first before I recommend it. But you see, this thing is compatible. Okay, which is really good. I do love it that it also rises uh, because it gives it a, you know, a thickness to it. That means it could pull uh, much better on, uh, you know, on how it works. So anyways, we're going to move that. I'm going to put my, uh, we're going to do a review on that another day. Let me just take that out here. Give me one second. So guys, like I said, uh, let me see if I put it here. I found a carbon fiber propeller that matches that. So it's not the thick one, but we're going to put that on right now. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how uh, these work. So remember again, like there is a color, you know, with a double and the uh, and the fir uh, one side, as you can see here. So just make sure that the one sides, the double, they go in across and then across there comes the single so we're not going to use these we're going to use here we go let me just get them all out here we're going to use the singles okay this one so we're going to go right into here grab ourselves one of these babies here put them in here actually these aren't meant for it so we're not going to use those screws we're going to use the screws that came uh, with the propellers But wow, so I guess they give you uh, uh, more than enough screws to put your unit in together So we're gonna spill that in here and we're gonna put them now all together Here we go it's So hard to do that when you're on uh, when I'm doing it over the camera But look how brilliant this is you could just like take out your propellers your that other the the motor cover is going to stay on so and again don't over tighten and look at that so you just don't want to over tighten it so just give it a little just to kind of loosen it there you go now we're going to put the other one in here you got to look for another single we're going to rock that one into the unit so i'm just going to put that in there Remember, don't over tighten because you, you want to put some play on it. You see? This one is a little too over tight. This one is not. So you could clearly see that. So you want to kind of make it snug but not over tight. Okay, like that. There you go. Now it's beautiful. See that's right there. Boom. So that's one that we took care of. Now we got to take care of the other ones now, don't we? So, um... Actually, to be honest, even though they call this carbon fiber, they look exactly the same. I don't know, but I'm going to replace them anyway, just to make sure that we don't, you know, that there's no issues. Now, that's another thing, guys. When you're going into another company of propellers, you want to make sure you're not exactly a cheapskate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just say, okay, I'm just going to replace one. But the other ones I'm not going to replace. Because if you do that, okay, there's going to be some issues, believe me. And you don't want to deal with that. You want to make sure they're exactly identical. Even ones that happen to look exactly the same, believe me, they're not. So there's going to be issues and uh, your copter might crash or might not even launch. And you won't even know what happened or might actually fall. Especially you guys that... Lot, um, I know a lot of you guys said... Uh, it didn't, uh, let me see here. Uh, it wasn't launching from your hands. 
uh, and from the from the ground. And I told you guys why. It's because you have to align these copter, uh, these propellers, uh, in an X shape, like I showed you guys in an earlier video. Make sure you check that out. So I showed you guys how to solve that issue, uh, it's because sometimes from uh, DJI, what happens is uh, the smart people there. <laughs> Uh, what happens is they uh, release it that way. I have no idea why they're doing that. I think it's very stupid. Uh, but it, it it rarely happens, but it did happen. And it happened also, I mean, the coincidence is probably a little bit high because a friend of mine just got the Mavic and had the same issue. So I don't think all of them are like that, but most of them are, unfortunately. I mean, not most of them. Uh, some of them are. Uh put together wrong and that can be a very very big issue so here you go you see just snug fit not too over tight and you don't have to worry you see that now we need another double and grab one of these babies you're gonna put them in here also screw wise okay I know some people who had issues with screws they got something that looks like you know from a third party uh developer propeller and they got something that looked like it was the right one to get but of course it wasn't and well what happened was uh the propeller flew uh flew the hell out let me put that in a distant mode here the propeller flew um flew out sadly and uh the copter just completely went in a tailspin and just crashed so something to think about y'all when you're doing these things use the screws use everything that came with your propellers uh don't cheap out believe me because if you do you're gonna have some issues and then you're gonna have a copter that's destroyed that you paid like 500 600 dollars for it's not worth it but i love these covers i gotta tell you what a big improvement Big improvement. Just gonna line that up with this. It's so hard to do it with the. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that uh, over the camera here, but uh, it's going along well. And then you're gonna see, just like everything else, everything goes really nice into the case. I'm also gonna be doing a review. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review for the case, a new case uh, that I'm getting soon. I actually bought it pretty cheap, believe it or not, which, to be honest, I was kind of stunned how cheap it was. So we're going to just put this together. Now I'm going to put the other one in there. It's so hard to keep track of all these things. Now we're going to do the other one. Now these screws are so freaking tiny. So be very careful not to lose them. Really nice fit. Like I said, guys, this is permanent. That's pretty awesome. Give me one second. So, guys... Let's put this in now. put this in here now you see I feel there's an issue here there's like a bump here and that's the thing you have to watch out for but we're gonna see how the heck this operates now we're gonna do this one. All right, so let's move this out. So 
So these propellers, they actually come with a screw, a screwdriver and everything, which is pretty cool. But you know the big carbon fiber one I showed you that I didn't test yet. That baby is a beast. Um, and it, it comes with its own also. So we're going to test that out as well. But, uh, probably a little later on. We definitely will. And I love this because it is not a ma magnetic screw, which I, you guys know how much I hate magnetic screws. They don't belong anywhere in electronic devices, yet for some reason so many include them when it could cause so much damage to your electrical equipment. Here we go. Now, the final pieces. And I love it. They all come with extra uh, screws just in case you lose them. Because, you know, they do know these are easy to lose. But remember, these, you can, you see, you don't need to drill holes in these to make the carbon fiber fit through. You see, because these things go in, they're much easier. So you could have carbon fiber, the fat one I showed you earlier. You could have that with no issues at all. And right now, the last one here. Also, the carbon fiber one came with a nice case, which you could store all your extra screws in, your extra propellers. It's just a much nicer unit than this this thing kind of out I don't know I'm not too happy with these uh, they claim they're carbon fiber I could feel there is a difference between that one and the one that came with it but um, I'm still not a big fan of that so anyways let's go right into it so guys works perfectly as you can see these are permanent so anytime you uh, anytime the, you have a crash or whatever or the propellers need replacing you could replace it without taking off the cover it's a permanent resident of this what do i think of this i absolutely love it as i told you as a person who builds drones you need to cover those motors if you're going to the beach you're going anywhere any type of sand that blows into it any type of debris those motors are not going to be uh, you know they're not they're not going to work anymore. They're going to turn to crap. They're going to overheat and burst and blow up or something. It just won't start. You need to guard your motors. And really, these motors are much harder to find than, you know, the other drones out there that are easier to find. They're very tiny and they're extremely hard to find. So you need to buy them straight from DJI. and They're going to be a fortune. So you want to take care of your, uh, of your drone. And this is how you take care of it. Granted now, these are going to add grams to the overall weight as already we added many things like the the landing gear and everything like that that we reviewed so yes there's gonna be a little bit added weight to it so just make sure you fly responsibly at all times and you shouldn't have a problem uh but that's all i gotta say this is a must and if you uh, you know want to pick between this and this i if if you have uh you know and you these are cheaper but let's say you bought them uh you know, they're fine as long as you use the regular propellers. But if you're going to use the more heavy-duty propellers that are the real strong carbon fiber ones, uh, you're going to need to up upgrade to this. Now, I love this in general because this is permanent. These are not. What happens is when you remove the... Uh, the propellers you're gonna have to realign these now it might not be really much of an issue i mean it really isn't but uh also this thing has total protection if you could see it's all the way protected there's no hole that is left uncovered now in this thing as well when you put the propellers in you're it's going to cover the hole but i just like the overall coverage to make it a permanent uh unit and now for you guys that asked me does it work um you know in folding as i told you guys before it does but i'm going to show you Okay, so just gotta really be protective with these propellers. Uh, here we go. See, so works perfectly as you can see, and that's it. No issue, nothing. Just like the other one, and this thing launches exactly the same way. Just like it does with this, 
and like it does without it. It doesn't make a difference really in flight. I didn't notice anything. I think even the little bit of added weight that it gives to it isn't really that much. The thing that uh, that I love about stability is when you start adding the landing gear and everything together and it adds to the weight, it gives it more stability in the air. So that I do like. But I am going to say this, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record. You if you have in mind to put in all of these things, uh you want to start going with the heavier uh propellers, okay? Even though they work fine with the regular one, it just kind of all, you know, complements the other in terms of all-around stability. This I haven't tested yet, but as a person who builds drones, I can tell you that these things are going to work like a charm. They're going to be really beautiful. I just don't know. You see how you have to align them in an X. Uh, they're very particular. These things don't have any marks. I might have to do some playing around with it, or maybe it just works normally. So I'm going to have to do a test for y'all. I don't want to, you know, just tell you guys, go ahead and get it till I know for a fact. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. As always, self-funded here. This is an independent channel. We don't get paid like those paid for yuppies to tell you something's good when it's not. If it's crap, we're going to tell you it's crap. And if it's good, we're going to tell you it's good. Because we all here part of, are part of this community. This is the people's channel. In the comment section below, it's the forums, what I call the forums. So you guys can agree with me, you guys can disagree with me, and we we could talk it over everything, and we could together give back to the community so they uh, we can help them make better informed decisions. That's the reason I opened this. I got a job. I thank you guys for wanting to do Patreon and stuff for me. I don't do that because I rather you guys save that money and purchase uh, these air, you know, these drones or video games or whatever tech that's out there. I rather you guys save that money or even give it to charities out there you know that that uh that need uh the money uh you know that's really all there is to it so comment down below like subscribe. Uh, i know some of you guys who hit the bell button said you weren't uh told that uh i mean it doesn't alert you if, uh, just check every week i released about two to three videos sometimes four videos a week uh but let's say it does you know you're not getting a lot of you guys that didn't get it contacted youtube and they told you uh the reason uh well, why it happened is because we're not big enough yet, whatever. We're growing slowly but surely. Share it with everybody you know, and let's just grow as a community and help people sift through all the garbage of the paid-for idiots and get real information. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it. And I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.